Hi everyone and welcome to our MWC board series. Uh, today I have Priscilla Calderon with me and uh, we're just going to kind of spend the next few minutes getting to know a little bit more about Priscilla. Hi Amanda, thank you for having me here. I'm so excited about this interview. Well, thanks so much again for, uh, for agreeing to do this today. Uh, so can you tell us uh, a little bit about your background and how and why you got into construction? Sure, uh, my name is Priscilla Calderon. I'm from Ecuador, South America. Uh, I have been in this industry for 22 years. Uh, it was so funny because before I went to the um, law school, uh, I was a lawyer back in my country. So before that, I started working with a company who hired me to do the managing of a mobile crane. I didn't have an idea what that means in that moment and I start studying that and after that I love the construction industry and uh, that was in uh, Costa Rica in Central America. I spent one year there and then I went back to finish my school, my university in my country and I always been working with um, construction companies, uh, mostly um, in the pipelines, airports, uh, a lot of infrastructure uh, uh, construction projects. Well, you have a very, very interesting background. That's so amazing. So what, uh, what do you like best about the industry or about your job? Uh, about the industry construction, I like it because it's dynamic. You need to be really proactive and you can develop some skills like uh, conflict and uh, problems resolutions, right? You need to take decisions at the time, even for the small things when you are installing a ceramic or when you are taking a hiring a contractor. In any portion of the construction part, you need to take decisions. And I love that part of the construction. And I like also that you always, or most of the time, you have a beginning and at the end. You, you have a project, it's a time, and uh, you concentrate all your energies in one project. And once you finish the project, you feel like relieved. You really like that sensation to have finished the project. So I, I really enjoy it. Yeah, there is, like you said, there's the satisfaction of knowing that you had a hand in contributing to that. So yeah, that's fantastic. I love that you picked up on that. So what would you like to see changed uh, in the industry? Um, I think that obviously in, in these 22 years, a lot of things have been changing, right? Uh, more and more women is involved, they are involved in the industry, but I think that we need to keep working and uh, bring opportunities for women in our industry. We can see more architects, more engineers, more project management, but at the same time, we need to bring people to our trades and give opportunities and, um, and um, uh, I don't know, uh, projects where they can develop their uh, skills. So that's why I like uh, the construction and I want to be part of the board also. Yeah, so that kind of ties in my next into my next question. So why is volunteering on the MWSC board important to you? When I came, Amanda, to uh, Canada, uh, I was looking an opportunity in the construction industry and I didn't know too much people, right? It, it was non-networking, I didn't study here and I haven't worked here before. So it was very hard for me to get that networking where you meet people in the industry and you start getting those calls that you need to survive in your business. As you know, I am the owner of Yumina Flooring Solutions and we are flooring installers and we do polish concrete and we do epoxy. So the relations are very important. So that's why I wanted to be part of the Manitoba Women in Construction to help women like you guys to create events 
and opportunities for different people, for people who just arrived to the country, for people who wanted to go for first time in our industry and give them the opportunity to meet more people and know, I understand uh, how we work and uh, nothing, just give them that chance to get networking in our industry. Yeah, that's amazing. That's that's the fantastic thing about Manitoba Women Construction. It's such, such an amazing opportunity to be able to meet, you know, other women in the industry, make those connections and work on on developing your network. So, yeah, that's that's fantastic. And so, you think thank that you, so you are the only one, but sorry, and I, I, yeah. uh, you think that you are the only one, but when you are in the Manitoba Women in Construction, you see that there is a lot of women trying to do the same thing. So that is amazing yeah. and you really feel that connection. Yeah, it's reassuring to know that you're not alone, right? So yeah, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're gonna kind of change pace here and kind of get into a little bit more personal questions just to kind of find out uh, a little bit more about you. Um, so what is or has been your most favorite vacation? Okay, um, I think I had a very nice opportunities to travel with my family, but one of my best has been to go to Machu Picchu in, in Peru, it's, um, it's in South America. We went to Machu Picchu with my kids and it was the first time that we had that experience that they were they were kids, but no babies, right? And right now they are teenagers. It's a totally different story. <laughs> So in that it moment, is, yeah. we were um, playing, do, uh, doing um, horse riding, uh, a lot of like adventure sports. So we really had fun. And uh, yeah, there are no more babies. They are uh, teenagers right now. So it's quite different. It goes so quick too, doesn't it, Priscilla? <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. It sounds like a great, great opportunity to spend time with the family and connect. So that's that's a, that's a good example. So, what is your current recommend for a favorite book, movie, or TV show? I love to read, and I have a very good books about um, women and empowering women and everything that you can do. How, for example, we can do multiple tasks, uh, taking care of your home, be aware of your kids, texting in a meeting, like you really need to know, like everything is so perfect. I love that kind of books. But right now, it's so funny because I am watching um, a show, a TV show. I don't like too much, but this one especially, I like it because I didn't know how to cook. And right now, I love to cook. So I am watching Master Chef. <laughs> and that really is so nice because I am learning how to cook. I really enjoy the competition and it's quite of like relaxing for me. We watch that uh, show very late at nine with my family and it's a family time also. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that's a, what a great opportunity to do that. Uh, and a great recommend. Uh, that sounds interesting. Uh, so what do you do in your spare time? if you have any, because I understand that you are extremely busy. <laughs> yeah, between the business, the family, my kids, uh, I do I do volunteer in um, Ecuadorian Association in Manitoba. We are in a small community, but, but we are growing. And right now I am the president of the board, so I don't have too much spare time, but I try to do my best to use some of the time to help and develop this um, project with uh, my community here and also to be uh, to try to learn from the Canadian culture, be involved in the Canadian culture and uh, that I use my time there. What a what a great opportunity Priscilla. Thank you so much for doing that because that seems like such such a wonderful thing to do. So that's amazing. So with all of this stuff going on, what do you do to recharge? Um, I love to be uh, with my friends. That is the way. I would like to say sports, but honestly, during the week, I'm so tired that I don't want to do nothing like, you know, physical. So I always have to drive all around with materials, checking the projects. 
So during the weekend or when I have some time, I love to have a wine with my friends and that is the way that I can re recharge. Uh, sometimes just telling them what happened during the week and just listening also what happened with them. That is a very nice um, way to interchange energies and I believe in peer support. So that is the way that I recharge my energies. I like it. That sounds fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate spending the time with you, getting to know you a little bit better, and I'm sure everyone that watches will appreciate the same. Thank you so much again, Priscilla. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you.